So what's up with everything zombie lately anyway? Zombie TV, zombie movies, zombie parasites, zombie deer. It seems like it's everywhere. Well, as if that wasn't enough, I've got another one for you. And this one isn't just science fiction horror. And it's one that could potentially result in a serious possibility of a real-life zombie apocalypse. Scared yet? You will be. Check this out. In the labyrinth of the human body, a marvel of biology sits within the inner ear. Delicate hairs, tethered to nerves that lead directly to the brain. These hairs are crucial for interpreting vibrations as sound and maintaining balance. However, their overstimulation by high-frequency waves, such as those from 5G, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, could potentially lead to a condition known as vestibular atactic syndrome. This condition marks the beginning of a cascade where these hair cells secrete abnormal proteins, which under continuous overstimulation, may morph into mutated prions. Prions are rogue proteins capable of causing devastating diseases by inducing normal proteins to misfold. This brings us to the curious case of zombie deer. Deer afflicted with chronic wasting disease, CWD, a prion disease causing drastic weight loss, lack of coordination and listlessness, leading to death. The eerie symptoms have earned it the moniker of a zombie-like condition, showcasing the destructive power of prion diseases in the wild. The transmission of CWD among deer is a stark reminder of the potential for diseases to spread through populations. When considering vestibular atactic syndrome in humans, exacerbated by our relentless use of technology, one can't help but draw parallels, an invisible enemy, one that can persist in our environment for years, even decades. This enemy, a prion, is not a bacteria, not a virus, but a misfolded protein that can cause devastating diseases. If mutated prions resulting from this syndrome were to shed into the environment, they could potentially be transmitted through multiple vectors. Dr. Jane Simmons, a leading expert on prion diseases, shares valuable insights. She explains prions are unique, they're resistant to heat and radiation, and they can linger in the environment for an incredibly long time. This longevity is what makes them so dangerous. But how do these prions get into the environment? Dr. Simmons elaborates. Infected animals shed prions through saliva, urine, and feces. These prions bind to soil and plants, creating a reservoir of infection for other animals. In an unexpected twist, our attempts to control pests in agriculture might be inadvertently contributing to the spread of these prions. How safe is the environment we inhabit and how secure is the food we consume? Dr. Mark Patterson, a wildlife health expert, sheds light on this issue. Nematode gel biopesticides, widely used in agriculture and public spaces, contain microscopic worms that can transport prions from the soil to plants and, potentially, into our food chain, he warns. But it's not just worms we need to worry about. Insects and parasites also play a role in prion transmission. As Dr. Patterson explains, ticks, mites, and other parasites can pick up prions from infected animals or contaminated environments and spread them to new hosts. To summarize, the safety of our environment and our food is under threat from an unexpected source. Prions. These tiny misfolded proteins, responsible for diseases like chronic wasting disease, are being shed into the environment. They're incredibly resilient, able to persist in the environment for years, posing a potential risk to humans. Furthermore, common pest control methods like the use of nematode gel biopesticides might be inadvertently contributing to the spread of these prions, with insects and parasites acting as unwitting accomplices. Indeed, the world we live in is more interconnected than we could ever imagine, exacerbated by our relentless use of technology. This speculative leap to a human zombie apocalypse scenario isn't about the undead rising, it's about the invisible threat of prion diseases silently spreading through the population. It underscores a critical need for caution and research into the effects of our omnipresent technology on human health. As we venture further into an era defined by technological advancement, the tale of the zombie deer serves as a chilling warning. It's a call to action to understand and mitigate the potential unseen dangers that lurk amidst our modern conveniences, lest we face our own version of a zombie apocalypse.